Hello, my name is Stephen Allen and I am an owner and co-founder of Time Walker Toys and Collectibles, a leading online retailer that has specialized in 1-6 scale collectibles since 2003. Several years ago we set out on a journey to bring our passion for the history of the First World War together with the world of 1-6 scale collectibles. It has been an enormous challenge and a tremendous learning experience. Now, in collaboration with our friends at Caltech International Corporation, and the National World War I Museum, Time Walker Toys and Collectibles is pleased to announce the first figure in a line of premium quality 1-6 scale collectibles based on the First World War. We begin our series with the first major engagement of the war, the Battle of Liège in August of 1914. In an effort to avoid a protracted war on two fronts, the German Empire mobilized its forces and set in motion a plan to defeat France early in the war thus allowing Germany to concentrate its armies in the east. The shortest road to France took German soldiers through the neutral country of Belgium, where a ring series of fortresses surrounding the citadel of Liège stood in their way. This is where we meet our soldier, our first figure, an Imperial German infantryman of the 27th Regiment, 3rd Company, as he would have appeared in the earliest days of the war. One of the defining characteristics of the First World War was how rapidly the tactics and material culture of the soldiers changed from a 19th century military philosophy to the realities of 20th century warfare. The German infantrymen served in one of the most modern and best trained military forces of the time, but much of his appearance still bore the vestiges of the 19th century, from the boiled leather helmet, the pickle halbe, with its distinctive and imposing gilded metal spike, to the cut and tailoring of the tunic with its prominent and highly visible buttons, as well as the traditional piping around the collar, sleeve, and rear skirt vent. The model 1866 marching boots were virtually unchanged since the period of the Franco-Prussian War. On the other hand, the German military was one of the first to experiment with the camouflaging effect of uniform material designed to conceal rather than reveal its wearer. A kind of gray-green material known as Feldbraum was developed around the turn of the century for the Imperial German East Asian Expeditionary Corps. By 1907, this color was introduced into the wool uniform of the European Continental Forces of Germany. In our figure, we have gone to great lengths to simulate the look and feel of the original field gray uniform. Ultimately, a special fabric and color was commissioned by Caltech to achieve the desired effect. Each of the items that comprise this remarkable figure, including the model 1895 knapsack, the 1908 overcoat, the field cap, rifle, and many more items, are the result of hundreds of hours of in-depth study of original World War I artifacts, which combine the research and conceptual design talents of Time Walker Toys and the resources of the National World War I Museum with the engineering skills of Caltech Corporation. The exceptional quality of this figure has earned the endorsement of the National World War I Museum, a world-class institution located in Kansas City, Missouri, and the only museum in the United States solely dedicated to the study and memory of the First World War. We would like to thank Caltech for making this project possible, and we extend a special thank you to the National World War I Museum, as well as the various private collectors who contribute to their time and expertise and to our friends and family for their support. We set out to create an historically accurate portrait of the material culture of the First World War in one-sixth scale. I believe we have achieved this in our first figure. If you agree and would like to see more product developed for this series, we urge you to support Time Walker Toys and Collectibles with your purchase. Thank you.